Well, this is my building the Archipod. Um, Archipod is a portmanteau word um, made up from the words uh, architecture and pod being a sort of self-contained building. Um, I wanted to build uh, a garden building that uh, would help promote more people to work from home. Um, I wanted something that would fit more in the context of the garden. Uh, I felt that everything else on the market looked either like a, a shed or a box um, and by making something curved um, it would look um, a lot more part of the garden landscape so it's a lot more um, sculptural than most buildings. It's also probably the most difficult shape to make out of anything flat um, and that works quite well for me because not many other people will try and copy it. When I first started developing the structure of it, I knew that I was doing sort of something quite different, something uh, very unusual uh, compared to what uh, else was available in the marketplace. Um, I knew intellectual property protection uh, was going to be very important because uh, I didn't want anybody to copy this. So I did, uh, did quite a bit of research on the internet. For me, the, the important thing was registering the design and also I wanted to register the trademark for the company. Um, well obviously if somebody tried to copy our design it have a, a big impact on our business. Uh, it's a very unique design. Um, it's, there's not really, nobody else really making anything quite like this. Um, and the fact that there is a lot of legal protection now for, for designs um, there's now carries a, a 10 year jail sentence if somebody tries to copy a design so it's good that we've got some sort of recourse to uh, that process if somebody did try and copy it. The um, best advice I could give somebody uh, looking to protect their intellectual property is um, certainly have a look on the internet, um, arm yourself with as much intelligence as possible. Um, be it uh, patent or design or copyright or, or trademarks. Um, there's a lot of information available on the web. Um, we found it very straightforward process um, registering de designs and, and trademarks. Um, and I also think having a look at the uh, Intellectual Property Office website um, will give a lot of information too.